first morning in Kuala Lumpur and we're hitting the Pedaling Street Market. Let's check it out. So here's a daytime shot of second tallest building in the world. And second tallest structure with that. I guess there's two categories with that little tower on the top of it. It's not done yet. Uh, beginning of next year, the inside will be done. That'll be open for people to visit. You see here, even at uh, nine o'clock in the morning, this place is pretty busy. Machi. All kinds of things for sale. That little crossroad we just passed, that has more of the food. We just walk down here. <clears throat> so you got some really old hotels up here on the top. Shorts and t-shirts abound. Bucket hats, 15 ringgit, so less than four bucks. Too much commenting, let the sights and sounds do their thing. Since I really don't know jack about this place. Taking you for a walk in a <clears throat> very touristy area of KL. This is literally one and a half, two minute walk from our hotel since we're staying on the basically outskirts of Chinatown. Get down to the end here and I'll pause the video and we'll go back up to that cross street section where uh, that's where most of the food is you're going to find. Or I might venture out here a little more into the Chinatown area, we'll see. Here's your start sign. Jalin Pedaling, Pedaling Street. Thing I'm already noticing that you don't see in uh, Singapore is uh, a lot of a lot of homeless. Here's that 
free and clear of that tower again. All right, here's the uh, one of the side streets of fiddling. I don't know what the purpose of that was. Lighting out fireworks right in front of somebody. If you uh, need a bong, this place got you covered. Every bong imaginable. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> no picture. Too late, buddy. Sorry. Chinese donuts. Lots of snack food. It's kind of like a little current area. Get my white noodles there. There's a small food center here. Tang City Food Court. Got a bunch of stalls in there to eat. That's about the end for this little side street. I'll uh, pause this video here. Give you a glance of all this. And we'll go hit another one. Let's go take a venture through this Tang City food court. Duck, some roast chicken. What else they got in there? Noodles, wonton me. Coffees and juice. There's Miss Cecilia's fish bowl, prawns, prawn me, lime me. You see it's a smaller, smaller little food center. Right here off the uh, side street. Morning. Pork ball, pork ball noodle. The local food center. Not sure if there's like huge uh, hawker stands like in uh, Singapore, but we'll find out. Pause this for a second till we get to the other side. We already showed this here. Eh, we'll just show this side, I guess.
Got some rice bundles. What that one? Bok chang. Dumpling. Dumpling. Yeah. Looks good. Got some chestnuts roasting. Look like there's any food down this way. Just more little vendor stands, flowers. See the line up here? I think uh, a lot of this stuff right here all locked up. I think these are your food vendors that probably open up around lunchtime. That's what I'm going to guess. What do you think? Yeah. Because I know there's a lot of food food vendors in, in this area, but we're not like super early. It's 10 o'clock. I thought by like 10 it would be open, but obviously not. Some of them, this vendor side is open. It's like purses and stuff. So some of it's just uh, souvenir and knockoff stuff. Look. That's about it for this street. So far, Malaysia, like Singapore, seems to be a uh, pretty, pretty good melting pot as far as people. I mean, state the obvious, it's not as uh, clean as Singapore, but, you know, we do live in the Philippines, so I'll take that for, for what it's worth. It's a nice temple with the skyscraper in the background.
Not far from the uh, pedaling market on a side street. We're just in here, Mr. C and I getting some snacks. This is Rojack, and then we got some chicken dumplings coming. So we'll give this uh, Rojack a try. Uh, may may have the shrimp paste, so I may be out of luck. The last one I got was uh, just the palm sugar kind of sauce. So we'll see about this one. Let Mr. C uh, give it a, a venture. Shrimp paste? No shrimp paste? Alright, I might be in luck. I might be able to eat some of this. Show you the uh, dumplings when they come out. There's the dumplings. A little different looking, but I've already tasted one pretty good. Chicken dumplings. I don't know about the uh, mayo on the side. Could use some sweet chili or something, but this Rojack's good. It's got a uh, cucumber, pineapple. I think there's some green mango in there. Not 100%, but good stuff. Thank you. Yeah.